Good afternoon everyone. Um, today's book is one of my favourite books and it's called Dogs Don't Do Ballet and it's written by Anne Kemp. My dog is not like other dogs. He doesn't do dog stuff like weeing on lampposts or scratching his fleas or drinking out of the toilet. I throw him a stick he looks at me like I'm crazy so I have to go and fetch it myself no my dog likes music and moonlight and walking on his tiptoes you see my dog doesn't think he's a dog my dog thinks he's a ballerina when I get ready for my ballet class, he looks longingly at my tutu and ballet shoes and I just know he's dreaming of his name in the lights. Dad, I say, can Biff come too? He loves ballet. Not a chance, says Dad. Dogs don't do ballet. Then one Saturday on my way to my class I get a funny feeling, a funny feeling that I'm being watched, a funny feeling that I'm being followed. I wonder if you can see who's following her to her ballet class. When Miss Polly is teaching us a new routine, I think I see someone peeking in at the window. Something with a wet nose. Something with a tail. Right girls, says Miss Polly, who's going to demonstrate the first position? Who can you see at the window? But before anyone can step forward, there is a loud bark from the back of the hall and something furry rushing to the front. What is this? asked Polly, peering over her glasses. This, I say, is my dog. Well, take it away at once, says Miss Polly, wrinkling up her nose. Dogs don't do ballet. My poor dog stopped waggling his tail and his ears dropped down at the ends. I take my dog home and I give him a bowl of doggy donuts, but he won't touch them. He just stays in his kennel for days and days, and at night he howls at the moon. For my birthday, I get tickets for the Royal Ballet. Can Biff come too? I asked Dad. He loves ballet. My dog pricked up his ears and he wagged his tail. No, said Dad. If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. Dogs don't do ballet. As we wait for the bus, I think about my poor old dog, all on his own, howling at the moon. Then I get a funny feeling. A feeling that I'm being watched. A funny feeling that I am not alone. Whoa. The ballet is magical. The orchestra plays as, as the prime ballerina dances and prances and twirls and whirls and skips. She's at the ballet. Oh no, she trips. Disaster, calamity. It's all over, I think. But somebody doesn't think it's all over. No, someone thinks it's just beginning. Somebody with big black eyes. Somebody with pointy ears. Who is hiding at the back? Somebody. Wearing my tutu. The audience gasps. 
It's a dog, someone shouts. Dogs don't do ballet. My dog turns bright red and looks at his feet. That's what I've always said, Dad muttered, but then the orchestra starts to play. And my dog dances like no dog has ever danced before. Pile, arabesque, pirouette. He is as light as a sugar puff, as pretty as a fairy. The audience can't believe it. Hooray, I shout. That's my dog. When the music stops, my dog gives a hopeful curtsy and blinks nervously into the spotlight. The theatre is very quiet and you could hear a bubble pop. Then the lady at the front row stands up. It's a dog, she shouts. Biff ears start to droop again. A dog that does ballet, she adds. Bravo! Suddenly, the whole audience cheers and throws bunches of roses. My dog glows pink with happiness. I don't believe it, says Dad, shaking his head. Biff is a ballerina after all. See, I say proudly, ruffling Biff's ears, dogs do do ballet. Bravo, Biff! <laughs>